I was gonna wait till tomorrow morning to start a new vlog, but I figured, oh sorry, I was just making sure I was on video mode. I figured what better time than the present, you know? Especially because I just had an epiphany, which is that I have become like so, is this focused? I don't even know. Okay, let me explain some things. Last time I vlogged, I was working on that paper for Indian law. Okay, that consumed my entire week two weeks ago. Turned it in at 11.46 when it was due at midnight that Thursday night. Then um, I had friends, a friend and my sister in town for the weekend, so I was like busy and hanging out with them. Then the next whole week was consumed by the oral argument for that paper topic in Indian law. Oh, and some of you commented and you knew what case I was talking about, which is so cool. It was Sharp v. Murphy, which is such an interesting case. I'm really, really interested to see how it's going to come out. And side note, if you care at all, I have heard that there is a similar case coming up scheduled for oral argument before the Supreme Court and Gorsuch will not have to recuse himself for this one. So it act, this issue actually may get decided in that case, not Sharp v. Murphy, because Justice Gorsuch had to recuse himself last time. And again, for these oral arguments, because he was involved with the case when it was at the 10th Circuit. Besides the point, then, so I was just crazy. That was all last week, and now it's Tuesday of the next week, and things have like kind of calmed down a little. I need to read for Crim Pro, and then hopefully get a lot of sleep, because that's the one thing that I'm trying to do this semester. Like, I need seven hours. This is what I have learned. Six is okay, six and a half is better than okay. Seven and above, I'm good to go, have a great next day. Five, which is what I was getting the last two weeks, does not work for me, like, just simply doesn't work. I couldn't vlog, I was a disaster. It wasn't good. It's 10.52, I feel like it's like 2.30 in the morning and I just finished all my work, so I thought I just had to read, but then I remembered that I had a run experience article due today, so I just spent the last hour and a half writing it and posting it and doing all of that. So it's done, it's up, and now I have to wash my hair. It's 10.54, I'll be in bed by like 11. I'm seeing stars. Um, <laughs> 11.45 probably? That's fine, and then I don't have to get up until about 6.30. Not bad at all. That's totally fine. Okay, it's Wednesday, and I knew I was gonna do this. I wasn't like late for school or anything, but I certainly didn't have time to vlog this morning, and so I didn't. But anyways, now it's 12.10. I got out of class at 11.30. I just ran off campus to get some lunch, and now I need to go back on campus and do some work. I'm meeting with the group I'm presenting with this afternoon at one, so I have 50 minutes to get some work done, refresh my memory on the presentation. When's the last time I vlogged? I think like in my break during school, my presentation went fine. Oh, my light bulb's out. I have to get that fixed. And then I came home and I like was laying in bed. I keep doing this thing where And so today I was honestly about to fall asleep. My eyes were closing and then I was like, no, just go. Go to it. And so I went to the workout and I'm very glad that I did. Um, because I would have felt guilty if I didn't. And so I just got home and now um, the only homework, all I have tomorrow is appellate advocacy and I don't even have anything like due necessarily in that class, but I have a meeting with my professor for it about the brief I'm writing for the class after class. So all I need to do now is just research because Um, I haven't started working yet because I got sidetracked on my computer and I actually scheduled um, an interview for someone who writes for the National Jurist and she's doing a story on law school vloggers. That's so cool. So I'm going to talk to her. Sorry, I'm trying to like keep myself in the light because the lights are there, but I'm turning my lights on. Um, I'm going to talk to her on Friday. My windshield has so many cracks and I think I need to get a new windshield entirely. Um, which sucks because that's really expensive. Every time I get it repaired or replaced, another rock just hits it on the highway. So like, at what point do we just surrender? Okay, I'm gonna drive to school now and I'll talk to you when I get there. Hi. 
I got home from, I met with my professor and then I came home and just literally laid around for two and a half straight hours. I just got home from teaching and I have to talk about something. I have probably ranted about this on the vlog before, but I don't care, it needs to be said again. People aren't getting it. If you are getting on an elevator and there's someone already in it who needs to get off, you do not step foot into the elevator until the people who need to get off the elevator are out of there. Am I crazy? Like, I just think that that is A, common sense, B, polite. Like, just let them leave before you barge into the elevator. This man, when I was just getting out of the elevator coming in here, literally walked in and it was like, it was just me in the elevator. And he walked in and stood like right in front of me. And I was like, excuse me, like what, you think that I just wanted to ride around? <sighs> Thank you. Teaching was good, now I'm home. Um, I have a little bit of run experience to do. It's Saturday. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. Um, sorry, one sec. I have to take this thing off because it's so sweaty and gross. Um, yeah, yesterday was like the most hectic day of my life. I was at work, which is nowhere near school. And then I had to drive to school for a meeting. And then I did an interview over the phone on the way back for that publication that's doing that article on law school bloggers. And then went back to work, came home, took a nap, went to dinner, came back. <laughs> it was crazy. And then I just passed out. My apartment is a disaster, don't worry about it. We're gonna clean it today, but I just got back from the gym. My skin's breaking out so badly. <sighs> Anyways, I have a nail appointment in like 40 minutes, so I need to wash my face. I don't have time to, what am I doing? I don't have time to shower, um, so I'm just gonna change and wash my face and put on some perfume and like that's all we got. It's Sunday and I'm having such a hard time doing anything productive. It's 12 of nine, so I'm gonna procrastinate even more and go grocery shopping because I really wanted more cold brew and I ran out. And so I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's to get more, I should just do my grocery shopping for the week. Hair's freaking out a little. Um, so I'm gonna do that to procrastinate work even more and then I'm gonna come back and I have Lots of work to do today. I have another presentation in trademarks that I have to prepare for. I have to read for criminal procedure and I have to write two sections of my appellate ad brief. We call them CREACs in my writing class. So that's my plan for the day, but I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's now. I um, used one of my bags. Is it gross to use your grocery bags for other things too? Like, should it just be for food? Because I had sunscreen in it yesterday when I went to the pool. Like, is that gross? Off we go, it feels good to be outside of my house. It's so beautiful out though, I just wanna lay out again today. But I shouldn't, maybe I will. <laughs> There's a lot of hours in a Sunday. I am so obsessed with the weekends. I'm so obsessed with any day that's totally free. Okay, so I just left Trader Joe's and I this just caught my eye and it's just a cold pressed orange juice. And it is the best thing I've ever had. And I'm not even a big orange juice person. If you ever feel like having just a singular serving of orange juice, you should try this one. That's everything. I went a little crazy. Turkey burgers, brown rice, cauliflower and gnocchi, meatballs, kale, broccoli, asparagus, chicken, turkey, raspberries, apples, jerky sticks, bars, coffee, chips. Oh. These, I got sparkling limeade and green tea lemonade. I usually only drink water when I'm in my house, but I've been getting really bored of water. So I thought I would get some other liquids to mix it up. So I got sparkling limeade and tea, salsa, a bunch of celery juice, a green juice, salsa. Did I ever say salsa? And that is my grocery haul. It's a lot of groceries. I'm gonna put it all away now. I did some work. I made my trademarks presentation um, and like filled in a little bit of it. It's a group presentation, so I just made Google Slides and sent it to the group, so hopefully they'll fill in more, but I can go revisit it later. I was so lazy today, but I just got inspired to get my life in order. I want to set myself up for a good week, and I realized that if I laid in bed for the whole rest of the day, I would not be set up for a good week. So now we're doing laundry. I'm going to clean my whole apartment. I still need to read for Grim Pro, and that's pretty much the only other work I need to do. So that is good. And 
I'm really pleased with my decision. I also went to Target and got just random things I needed. Yeah, so literally every week I leave my Crim Pro book in my car after I have that class for the last time on Wednesday and then I just forget to bring it in for the whole rest of the week and weekend. And then every Sunday night I have to read for class on Monday and I forgot to bring it in and I have to go get it. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, I think my plan will be I'll read for criminal procedure, shower, get ready for bed and then do a little more work in bed as I'm going to bed. Maybe on my journal note. Actually, I feel like I should um, contribute a little more to my trademarks presentation. I haven't checked on it since I made the slides and I don't know what everyone else contributed. I'm already bored. I tried the green tea lemonade I got at Trader Joe's and it's not good. I was just getting ready for bed and then I took a break from getting ready for bed because I had to eat like a thousand raspberries. And now, look how exciting this is. This isn't even focused. Oh, now it's upside down. Is that not just like the best visual? Like just ready to climb in? I still have to brush my teeth from the raspberries, but I'm just so excited to dive into bed in these fresh sheets, all clean. I took a shower. I mean, I didn't wash my hair, but it's okay. I washed it yesterday, and this is just going to be a great night's sleep and hopefully a good week ahead. A really positive Sunday night for me. Lots of work to do this week, though. Anyways, wow, I feel a little sick. I had so many raspberries. I'm going to drink some water. See you in the morning. Yeah, see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's 11.38 and I just had all my morning classes and now I have a study room for the next two hours to get work done. And then I have trademarks. Um, Good evening. It's 4.14, school's over and now I'm getting ready to go to the gym. We got out of trademarks five minutes early, which is great because I usually just miss the 420 class at my gym and I didn't cut clothes today even though I meant to so I was gonna miss it again but then we got out early so I made it wow sorry the sun is directly in my face but that was difficult it was like one of those workouts that's like difficult because it's not that like it was doable so you actually had to push yourself the whole time because there it wasn't so hard where you're just like oh it's too hard like I'm just gonna take a break it was doable which I find to be even harder if that makes any sense because I had to like oh goodness hang on um push myself the whole time because I didn't have an excuse not to <sighs> so yeah I'm very tired and sweaty and gross but I'm so glad it's done, it's only 5.20. I'm gonna go home and do some work. I'm supposed to go to dinner later. 